gym therapy, you know, where it's more than just just the, the fitness part. We'll add that to it. We'll, people will see the workouts. We'll see how everything flows. But this is also um, the therapeutic part where we yeah. talk about a lot of things. But the common bond here is the fitness journey, right? So what started you on your fitness journey? Gee, <laughs> I was about to turn 40. And I think that was like you said, 2018. Mm -hmm. I'm about to turn 40. And I have to be honest, like, I was in the worst shape of my life. Right. Um, I'm, I'm going to be totally transparent. I was actually scared to check my blood pressure. Um, it was sky high. Every time I checked it, it was like 150, 160, um, 110. Um, and then, so I, I just wouldn't check it and I wouldn't go to the doctor. You know, how many black men, you know, we hear, I'm just not going to go to the doctor. And Scarce. I fell into that, you know, category mm -hmm. like, whoa, I'm not going to the doctor. Right. And then my wife, she had this plan with her job was though she was working at the time and they did like a total health check. And if you got a good grade, mm -hmm. then you could uh, get a discount on your health insurance. There you go. Yeah. So I went and they did everything. Your, your pressure, your blood levels, your sugar levels, your every level. Right. And I failed every last <laughs> <laughs> At 39 years old. You know what I mean? And when I tell you, it scared, it just scared me, man. I was just like, whoa. And then it was so funny at the time, it was like so many people around me mm -hmm. were gaining illnesses. Good friend of mine got diagnosed with diabetes, you know, high blood pressure, another guy, you know, he just couldn't get it down. It was right. like, whoa, this is about to be my life. Right. And I'm like, I have to do something or I'm going to die early. Go down that same path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was like, you're going to die early, Mike. You got to, you know, and sometimes you got to have those conversations with yourself. Like, yo, you know what's going on. You better do something. Right. You know what I mean? I was, you know, I've always been a, you know, striving for success and business and, you know, got my bachelor's, master's degree. You know, I've always been that person that, you know, I want to be successful. But I was like, yo, if I don't change this, it's like, what point is it you, you become successful financially and then you die early from right. physically being screwed up? You only know, which takes us to, only yeah, it takes to us what everything. we're talking about. You know, right. it's like so many people, we unbalanced in the five. Right. You know, so I see so many people like, all right, you're getting the money right, but then you hate what you see in the mirror. Every day. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or you getting the money right and your mind is like off. You know, so it's like to have that quality of life and to gain inner peace, I feel working on those five things. If you're not working on those things and, and constantly hitting them, you know, what quality of life and inner peace will you have? So true. So true. You know, so I went and got a, um, I was like, I got to change. I got to do something. I got to do something. So all the levels were all over the place, like um, blood pressure, yeah. triglycerides. Everything. Everything. And I mean everything. Like yeah. I said, my pressure was like 151. I remember Jeez. 110. Yeah. <laughs> yeah geez. Hey, if you don't know, it should be 120 over 80. Like, yeah, it was like danger. Like, that's what they told me, like yeah. danger zone. Like, and then it got to the point where so I knew if I went back to the doctor, they were going to put me on medication. So how, how heavy were you at your heaviest? At my heaviest, I was at 260 pounds. 260. How tall are you? Five nine, five ten. <laughs>